guys, it's Jayla D here, and today I want to show you guys a new product that we have. It is our reusable gel nails. Now, I got these in the short stiletto shape, and this is the color Unicorn. I really love these because they're easy for you to do yourself. Right now, we're in the middle of a quarantine, so all the nail salons are shut down, and our nails are looking kind of funny. So I wanna show you how easy it is for you to do your nails at home with these nails step-by-step, step. so stay tuned. So these are the nails. It comes with 20 in a pack. There's not 20 in this box, but the extras are right here in this packet that comes with your kit you get two alcohol pads you get what is this? these are 12 um finger tabs for like short-term use you get a tube of glue and you get a file and a buffer the pink side is your buffer the blue side is your file and here are the rest of the nails that didn't fit in the box. So what you first wanna do is you're gonna pop your nails out like so. And you wanna measure the nails to your finger. The reason it comes with so many nails is because everybody's fingernails are different. So you wanna make sure that you size your finger with these nails. So I'm just gonna pop some of these out. I'm not gonna do all of them right now, but I am going to see, let's see. That's too big for that finger. If you can look here, it's overlapping on my skin a little bit on the side. So I know that that's not gonna fit right there. This actually fits my middle nail pretty good. It's no overlapping, it covers the nail well. So we know that is going to work for my right hand. This one doesn't really fit any of my nails. Let's try this. This one looks like a pinky nail. This one fits my pinky perfectly. So we've got two nails there. This one fits my index finger pretty good. Um, Let me see. This one fits my ring finger really good. I need a thumbnail. Uh, perfect. So I have my first five. Now I gotta work on my right hand. That one doesn't fit. Let's see. This one fits good. Let me see. We have a pinky right here that I know will fit. I work from my ring finger. It's too big. Wait, I need a middle finger. That's what I need. That might work. Let's try this one. Oh, perfect. So I have my five nails for each hand already separated, and I'm going to put these back in my box. If you end up losing a nail, these extra nails that come in your pack will come in handy. So please don't throw those away. Save those for later. But these are the nails that I'm gonna put on my hand. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is take your buffer and we're, actually no, 
before we do anything, you wanna make sure you remove any residue, any nail polish off your nails. So you're gonna need a cotton ball and some nail polish remover. I'm just gonna go around my nails real quick. I've been painting my office, so I do have some paint on my nails, not necessarily nail polish, but I'm still gonna get that off my nails like this. You wanna make sure your nails are nice and clean. No debris, no residue, no nail polish, no glue, no acrylic, no gel. Get all of that off of there. Next, we're gonna take our nail file slash buffer and we're just going to buff the nail out. You wanna make sure that there's no shine on your nails. And you don't have to be rough with this process. It's very easy, very simple. You see the difference between this? Actually, you can see the difference between the buff nail and the not buff nail. What I'm gonna do next is take this curved part of my buffer and I am just going to slide, push my cuticle back like so. This is gonna make for a more seamless and nicer looking application of your nails. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my nails and I'll be right back. Okay, I have all my nails with my cuticles pushed back and buffed. And you're just going to want to dust your hands off. The next thing I'm going to do is get a nail clipper. And I'm going to clip all my nails down short. This also makes it easier for the nails to stay and to be more comfortable and to keep them from lifting. Okay, you're gonna want your nails to look like this, nice and short. Let me do my left hand, I mean not my left hand, my right hand real quick. I don't have a pinky nail, but this is what you want your nails to look like. Just clean this up real quick. Okay. Next, what you're gonna wanna do is take one of the alcohol pads that come in your kit, and you're just gonna wipe over each nail what this does is it dehydrates the nail and makes sure that any type of oil or debris is not on there and it makes for a better bonding experience on your nails. Make sure you do all 10 of your nails. This also gets whatever little bit of dust you have left on your nails, off your nails too, from buffing and filing. All right, so there my nails have been prepped with the alcohol pad. And next what I'm gonna do is take my glue and take my nail clipper, or you can use scissors if you want, and just clip, clip the top off like so. 
And I'm gonna start with my left hand. Oh, here we go. And I'm gonna take my pinky nail, just check again to make sure, double checking to make sure it fits well. And it does. So I'm going to place a drop of glue on my pinky nail like that. And I'm going to take the nail. Can you see what I'm doing? Take it and put it close to my cuticle and just press down and hold it. I like to hold it for about 30 seconds. Just make sure that it is intact fully making sure that there's no air bubbles as well. You don't want any air bubbles because that makes room for moisture to get in the nail, causing them not only to lift and not last as long, but also causing room for bacteria to grow. And that's how you get those funguses on your nails. So we wanna make sure that we're putting these on properly so that you don't get a nail fungus. And there you have it, that's on there pretty good. All right, let's do the next nail. Remember, always measure before you glue it on. This one feels a little bit big. Hold on. I like this one. Okay. I just swapped out one of my nails because this one fits a little bit better well not a little bit better a lot of bit better so I'm just going to take my glue again and I'm going to I rub it all I rub, after I place squeeze the dot out I like to rub on my bigger nails rub that glue all around like that and then what I'm going to do is take my nail Push it in the cute up close to my cuticle and just press down. Now press it and hold it firmly for about 30 seconds. Like I was saying before, this helps to make sure that there's no air bubbles inside of your nails. We don't want that. And there you have it. My second nail is the one. Okay. Let's do my middle finger. Just double checking my measurements here. Fits good. So I'm gonna take the glue, put that dot on there, and now let's spread it around. Spread it around. That's pretty good. Taking my nail, put it close to that cuticle, and press down, holding it for 30 seconds. I'm going to do the rest of my hand, and I'll be right back so you guys can see what it looks like. finished my right hand I am loving these unicorn nails they are gorgeous and they feel extremely sturdy like these aren't going anywhere at all so I'm gonna go ahead and do my right hand and I'll be right back are done look at that these are gorgeous now one thing I do want to show you that you can do if you feel like the nail does not fit as far as like the shape at the top because everybody's nail is different you can take your buffer um let's do my middle nail I'm just going to smooth out the side a little bit more and you can just gently 
shape it with your buffer. And voila. You got unicorn nails, baby. This was super, super easy. You see, it only took me but so long to do. They're very comfortable. I can, they're not gonna break. I'll, I'm gonna keep these on for a week and I'll be back to show you guys how I removed them. So stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification button so that you know when I will post my next video. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.